Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to understand permalinks, which is the link structure used on your WordPress powered site. Now, the first thing to do is to head over to the permalink settings and you're going to find these under settings and you want to just click on permalinks here. So here we're going to see the permalink settings page and you've got a number of different options for displaying how your permalinks are displaying on your site. The first option you're going to see is common settings and this is what WordPress calls the standard options for changing your standard permalink structure. And we're going to see we've got a number of different options here for how to display the link that is appended after the URL of your website. So here it's mythemeshop.com forward slash and then the permalink and that is um, what we're customizing here. You can see by default we've got this uh, question mark and then a P and an equal sign and then the post ID. WordPress actually calls this an ugly permalinks in the documentation which you can find just by clicking on this link here. That will take you to the WordPress codex. Now this isn't especially um, beneficial for most people because as whilst it is a very functional uh, permalink setting with the post ID, it's not actually particularly readable, it doesn't tell you anything about the post and it's no good for search engines either. Most people in fact are going to want to use a post name structure which is going to have uh, your URL, so mythemeshop.com forward slash and then the uh, title of the post, so sample post for example. But you can also use a day and name, so you can have the year, the month, and then the date, as well as the link there. You might want to do that if you have more time-sensitive posts, and you can also do that just with the month there as well. WordPress also offers a numeric option, and this one is going to uh, let you just have a simple number structure, which again isn't particularly helpful for search engines, or you can have the post name, or you can use a custom structure. And to find out what you want to put in there, you can just click on this link to take you to the WordPress codex, which has all of that information for you. But as I said, most people are going to want to keep it with uh, the post name structure in order to keep that the best for search engines, as well as for visitors to your website. Below that though, you're gonna see you've got some optional uh, permanent link options. Here you can change the category and tag base. So for example, if you wanted to change the slash category uh, part of the URL for your category archives or for posts in that category, then you could enter a word here to use as the category base. So for example, if you wanted to change this to uh, slash topics, for example, instead of slash categories, then you would just need to enter topics in here. And then for tags, it's the same. If you wanted to change the slash tag part of the URL, you just need to enter the word in here. And if you do make any changes here, then you're going to want to make sure that you save those just by pressing save changes. I want to show you a little bit more about permalinks so, though, and to do that we're going to head into posts, just by clicking on posts here, and we're just going to load up a random post here. Now at the top below the title here, we're going to see that we've got um, the permalink here. So it's mythemeshop.com slash, and then we've got the just the contents of the title. Now to edit this, in order to make it slightly easier to see, we can just press edit and then we're going to see that we've got all this text is now editable. So if I wanted to change this to um, perhaps World Cup Highlights, then I could just type that in there. For each Between each word I want to put a dash, just by pressing dash there, and I don't want to leave any slashes on the end, WordPress is going to add that in automatically for me. I can press OK and we're going to see that um, the permalink is now shortened and this is now a much shorter URL which might be better for sharing on Twitter, on social networks, as well as for search engines. You might want to put the key keywords that you're using in that post in this section of the permalink here. Once you're done changing your permalink, as always, you want to press update in order to save those changes. We can see that post is updated and the new URL is mythemeshop.com slash World Cup Highlights with the hyphen in between each word. And WordPress is going to um, automatically redirect visitors to the old URL to this new one. So you don't need to worry about that at all. WordPress is going to handle that for you. And if you view the post, then you would see that that is now live at the new URL. It's very similar for pages. If we just head over to pages here, then I'll show you what that looks like here. And again, we're going to see that um, we've got the permalink here below the title, and you just need to press edit in order to edit the text that is displaying in the permalink. For posts that have parent pages, um, so for example, if um, my contact page, 
was uh, below my blog. Then if I just update this page in order to show you that, then we're gonna see that slash blog, the permalink of the blog page, which this is now a child page of, precedes the uh, permalink for this page. And so you can use that to create permalink structures with your pages, with parent and child pages. As always, you always want to make sure you update after you've made any of those changes. Now, one final thing to show you, um, if we head over to posts and then if we click on categories, then I just want to show you the um, category slugs, which is the permalinks for categories and also tags. So I'm just gonna load up a random category here just by clicking on it. And we're gonna see that um, we have a slug here. Now this is essentially the permalink for the category and it's just a URL friendly version of the name that's going to appear in the permalink for the archive of this category. Um, and you can change this just by entering the uh, word here. So the awesome category is going to have that. And it's generally just in lowercase, although if you have an especially long uh, category name, you might want to shorten that down here. And you can just do that with the slug field here. As always, you want to press update once you have made any of those changes. And it's a very similar story for tags. So if we just load up a tag here and click on it, you're gonna see you've got the slug here. And if you want to change that, then you can do so here. So these are your final two options for your permalinks in WordPress. Um, that's really all there is to it. You're gonna find the settings under settings and then permalinks, as well as under the category for posts and pages. If you want to change the slug, the part of the permalink for categories and tags, then you can do that just by clicking on categories and tags respectively. Hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.